Have you ever imagined a 3D print that pours wine? <laughs> This didn't come out of nowhere. A while ago, we released a whiskey dispenser, which was inspired by a few similar products that were trendy on Etsy, except they are made of wood and other materials. But we are a 3D printing company, so why not 3D print it? So we went through a process of 3D modeling the pieces, properly fitting the tubes and making sure everything matched a worldwide pattern. Our biggest challenge was a screw thread to properly secure the whiskey bottle, because if it didn't fit properly, it would leak or the liquid wouldn't flow, among many other issues. After all that was sorted out, we released the collection and there was some feedbacks about the process not being so easy for everyone. But remember, for you to have results no one has, you need to do things no one is doing. So our team put their noggins to work and developed this support for wine pouch, which is from the drop bag in fine boxes. This made the whole process a lot easier, since it's just sticking that in. What's amazing about 3D printing is that after developing all the main structures, we get to play around with different styles to suit every preference. We have all things from the classic oak barrel to a more modern one, and even a viking theme, steampunk, all sorts. I'm a fan of the clean aesthetics, so I printed this one for myself. I had an issue with the printing here. It ended up with a lot of marks, so I got to support and paint it exactly where I wanted the seam inside and out. In two settings, me and Hugo found out were important not to have those marking all over your prints is go to the print settings, layers and perimeters, then select avoid crossing perimeters. Then on infill, select the option only retract when crossing perimeters. In filament settings, I had the options wipe while retracting selected. So if yours do to unselect. And now just slice and print it again. I chose the wine color for my wine box. Quer que eu dê um vinhozinho? That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed. Leave in the comments below which areas of your life would 3D printing improve. And if you already does, tell us how. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!